Hello and welcome to Vim Universe Screencast. In this video I'm going to talk about how to find files by pattern in a directory hierarchy of the project. The key point is that you don't need to leave Vim and jump back into the shell in order to run find command. You can do all your searching activities right from inside the Vim, whether you want to find lines matching a pattern using grab command or just find files by name. Ok, let's get started. Wim has a grab command to find lines matching a pattern project wide. Results are shown in a quick fix list with each item representing an individual match. Same file is duplicated in the list as many times as there are matches. Sometimes we want to search for file name or file extension rather than a text within a file. For example, we might be interested in files with .wim extension. Wim has a built-in find command. However, it doesn't support globe patterns or regular expressions or searching by a part of file name. Moreover, search is limited only to directories specified in path setting. To find plug.wim file, you need to add autoload directory to the path first. Finally, what find command does is just opening the first matched file instead of showing a list with all matches. Alternatively, you can use plugins like Fuzzy Finder or Ctrl P. Personally, I use Fuzzy Finder when I need to quickly find and open a single file for editing or when I am lost in the project. That's a great choice. However, working with multiple matches, reviewing and editing them at the same time is not the first class use case for those tools. I would rather opt for a quick fix list to view results. Finally, you can jump back into the shell and run regular find command. Although, leaving Vim is not the best way to go with. Exploring existing solutions, it turns out that I missed these top two features. First is being able to search for files without leaving Vim, uh, Italy using the same tool and uh, pattern language as I'm getting used to in a shell environment like GNU Find. Second, uh, I want to view results in a quick fix list or maybe in a new buffer, so it's possible to review and edit the file list before piping them somewhere else. So the win way is when you miss some feature, do it yourself. Vim Find Files plugin allows to search for files without leaving Vim and shows results in a quick fix list or new buffer or populates the Vim's argument list. Basically, it exports find command that relies on findprg backend. Findprg setting is similar to Vim's built-in grabprg setting and by default points to GNU find command, although you can override it. The arguments to find command should match the interface of GNU find utility or any other find PRG backend. Results are shown in a quick fix list with each item pointing to the next found file. In the status line, you can see the underlying find command that yields the results. Find PRG setting allows you to provide your own find backend, for example, to use more advanced tools like FT. In general, FD has a compact syntax, respects your git ignore rules and supports smart case search, so I would recommend checking it out. Now let's configure Vim find files to use it. There is a placeholder which is replaced by the arguments you pass to the find command. Notice there are only few matches, that's because FD respects our git ignore rules. Viewing results in a quick fix list is great, but what if I need to change the files list? Use find B command to show files in a new buffer. As it's a regular buffer, you can navigate around as usual and edit text, for example, removing some files from the list. There are special key mappings to open and preview file under the cursor. You can open file for editing in the same window and get back with Wim's built-in Ctrl-O mapping that jumps back to the previous buffer. 
or you can open file in a split window, keeping files list window aside. Alternatively, open file for preview and keep focus on the files list window. Close both buffer and preview window with a dedicated key. You can override key mappings if you don't like the defaults, or disable them altogether, or apply your own configuration as a buffer has a dedicated file type. So, there are three views to show files list, quick fix list, new buffer, or the arguments list. The key point is that you are not limited to a single one. You can convert between them on the fly as you go. Let's look at the typical workflow. First of all, let's find some files. Review them in a quick fix list one by one. The next step is to convert them to a new buffer. Review them once again and remove some files from the list. Now convert them to populate the Vim's argument list. Finally, let's search for text matching a pattern using grab command, but only within the files stored in the arguments list. This way we can get accurate results approaching our search step by step with the ultimate control on each step. There are a number of commands to jump between views. Combine them as your own workflow demands. Another use case is running grab command that yields a lengthy list. What if you want to view only files having at least one match without duplicates? From a quick fix list run files only command. This is similar to running grab files with matches in a shell. Once you are done, get back to original list using see older command. The same effect can be achieved by converting quick fix list into a buffer. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it helpful, go and check out Vim Find Files plugin on the GitHub. It improves your Vim workflow while keeping in sync with Vim philosophy as much as possible. Thank you.